Hello, this is Yuka. Today we have a look at the TRI touchscreen user interface and its connectivity to CU and CULH uh, ceiling mounted controllers. When the TRI is connected to the uh, controller, it will start automatically to communicate. And what we see on this screen is the default configuration when this happens. In this device we have a temperature, built-in temperature, CO2 and a humidity and these measurements are sent to the CU controller. Also we can override the settings from this device to the CU and the set points. What we see here is this in an off condition. If I activate by pressing the off icon, now it is in active mode. Now by pressing the but, uh, set point buttons up and down, I can adjust the settings. This is now sent to the CU and CULH via uh, via Modbus registers. It will be also visible on the My Tool. So if you want to have a settings in a white tool and read the values from the CU, you can see what's going on. What we have here is a humidity and temperature measurements. They are rotating on that small action ring and we can also activate the CO2 measurements to be displayed there. We also have a fan speed. At the moment it shows manual zero and by pressing the fan icon we can activate for example manual fan speed 2. This signal is now set, uh, sent to the CU CULH using a Modbus input register 2 and now the, uh, the controller will start to control to a manual fan speed 2. If we go to fan speed 3 and then we go to the automatic, now the, uh, the TRI sends the message to the CU and uh, CULH saying the device is in automatic mode. So the user uh, is asking automatic control and now the CU and CULH uh, will start control to the automatic uh, uh, settings and configuration inside the device. If I now press the, the action ring I can go to the settings via the second screen. So I go to the settings screens and if I go to display settings I can now activate uh, the CO2 display. So that is now activated. And if you come back to the front screen, you can see that it now it's rotating between CO2 reading, between the humidity and the temperature. I can also disable the measurements from this action ring one by one. So if I go to the settings and the display, I can go there and uh, disable the humidity display and a CO2 display and return back to the the front screen and now it's only showing the room temperature. I can also rename that room temperature text uh, from the available texts in the configuration menu and I can also disable it. So if I go back to the display what we have here is uh, um, sensor 1 text, sensor 2 text and sensor 3 text and the sensor 3 text now says room and I could change it from here by pressing the the, uh, the room field to different settings but if I go back to the, the beginning to the disabled and come out to the front screen so now we have no temperature sensors on our display. I can also go to the assist, uh, settings to enable lock so if I go to the operating modes there's a lock mode I can set it up to no input so nothing can happen through the display once it's locked and actually let's set up the password as well so let up the uh, password for that 111 and if I now come to the front screen it's operating as normally you can adjust the set points etc and if I lock the screen I need the lock code and if I go back to the front screen, you can see there's nothing on a display. I can't enable, disable the functions. I can't set up the set point. I can't change the set point because it's locked. And I can go back to the lock screen and unlock it by setting the, the code there. And it's back to the normal operation. And I can also manually override. Thank you.